you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with our Madden Ultimate Video Guide. And today, I'm going to be going over the best no money spend you can currently have. So I made this video about a week into Madden 20, which wasn't like, it was like a week ago. But a lot of things have changed since, so I like, I know a lot of you guys, I not many YouTubers really do this, because I know a lot of you guys like to always know week by week what to, because I remember, sorry if I'm rambling, sorry. I know week by week you guys like to know what to do with your teams, because I remember when I used to play last year before I started content creating, I'd always look for certain things on YouTube, like I was no money spent, so I know by the week, <clears throat> oh, my voice is raspy, by each week I really want to know like where my team should be right now, like do I stack up against other guys, no money spent, or am I behind? So I feel like this is a great way now. Now that you guys probably have a little more coins, I can also introduce not just the free players you get, but players you can get for relatively cheap that are worth putting on the no money spent team. So I got a few. Some of them were in the video yesterday, but I'm gonna go over the players you can get for free so far, all the things you can get for free, reiterated for everyone who's new, and then go over the players you can also add to this team. Now guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub down below. We're at 5,400, let's get to 6K by tomorrow. Today is my birthday, guys. So if I'm not, I don't post their videos, that is why, but I'm trying to get through out today anyways, but as a gift, go drop a sub and let's get this video to, let's get this video to 300 likes. I think we could do it. 300 likes in this video, smash the like button, turn the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video, guys. Now let's get into this video. So first things first, come on over to missions. So these are the ones you want to work when you're a no money spent team. This is my mission is where I like to sit. I like to see what I can get in this game. So there's the Mud Superstars, the Legends. The Welcome to Ultimate Team, the NFL Epics, the Theme Builders, the Serious Progression, the Month Dedication. These two are irrelevant in terms of no money spent. Now, now that you know those, you could have read them. You don't have to, but I like to sit there just to know everything that comes out new. I head over to challenges. So, first thing first on a no money spent team, you want to get the all the free things. You, you want to, you want to dry like siphon everything out of this game that you can for free, and then worry about everything else from there. So, assemble your team. The first thing you probably want to do. Here, you get a free 85 overall player. All you got to do. Is play all the so you gotta play three sets of full solos and then complete some of the objectives to get the milestones and when you get here there's tier one tier two tier three tier four tier five tier six and by the time you get around tier 10 you get six tokens you go over to sets which i will show you right now so i'm going fast with this step i've shown this before so i don't want to like overdo it you go over to sets and you go over to ultimate trainers all the way over here and you go into it and you just put them into the set and you get a free 85 overall player if i recall correctly it is matt ryan juju smith schuster greg olson marshall Lattimore, and tyron matthew so those are the five personally the best one there's marshall Lattimore, although he can't cover too well but he has he has an 87 speed so you get so that's very useful especially in the slot i don't i don't really use him anymore but he's still really good now the next thing you want to do after you finish those are the nfl epics just to get your quick players NFL Epics, I mean, if you're just starting, if you're just starting, go to Superstars first, because you get a free 89 to 90 overall player. So let's actually start there. So all you gotta do is get 145 stars, which, oh, sorry, I have it right there, which literally takes like two hours max, and you get a free 89 to 90 overall player now. If I remember these players correctly. At 89, you can get Odell, Demarcus Lawrence, Harrison Smith, Zach Ertz, you can get Todd Gurley, Luke Geekly, Stephon Gilmore and Pat Mahomes. You can get any of those players for free just by playing these. So that's a great free player to get. So you're already working with, let's say you get a lot of more, an 85 overall cornerback. You're working with a net, let's say a 90 Pat Mahomes. Oh, that's not a cool quarterback. You're working with like a 90 Stephon Gilmore like I got. Now, NFL Epics. You gotta get 120 stars and you get, if you play all these, you get 125, 120 stars. I recommend you play a lot of these on two to three stars just to make it a little easier. If you have a better team, of course. Now, if you get 60 stars, 60 stars, you get 120. That will be a free Baker Mayfield and the free Deacon Jones. So now you're rocking with, let's say, Stephon Gilmore, cornerback. You're, rock, you're rocking with Marshall Lattimore, quarterback. I'm a cornerback. You got Baker Mayfield, that quarterback. You got Deacon Jones at left end. Or actually, he plays right end this year. Now, the Legend Souls are good for one specific reason. So I told you guys not to add into this no money spent team. If you're no money spent, I believe the best player you can get is Lawrence Taylor. Not the full Legend. I'd recommend this for no money spent. You go to Legends Week 3. You play these Lawrence Taylor solos on easy. You get when you play these, you get his free power player. So once you get his power player, I recommend you take that because he is the most. I think, in my opinion, he's the most overpowered power up card in the game, and you don't even have to buy his card. So what you do is you buy his power up card. You go buy training. I'm gonna make a video after this on the cheapest way to get training. So be sure to watch that in case you want to know. 
So you take that and you make this card right here. On a no money spent team, he's, he's on my team. My God Squad is on. Imagine a no money spent team. He has an 83 speed, 86 excel, 84 strength, 85 tackling, 85 player rec, 82 block shed, 86 power move, and 83 finesse. He is a god. He's six foot three at 88 overall, and all it cost was training. And you get that low end. He's like 15k for the power, but you can play the soul and get it for free. Also, as a no money spent team, good advice here. Real quick, go to the legends. Every time a brand new legend comes out, like an overpowered legend, go play solos. So right now, if you play Lawrence Taylor solo, you can sell his power for like 15k. Uh, these power ups go for like eight and seven. So if you still, if you got all these, you probably make like 30k off selling these right here, which isn't bad at all. And then when Deion Sanders and Vic comes out, you probably sell those for a lot too. And if you really want, you can go back and play the other ones. They're not bad. They're kind of they're full games, but if you just chew the clock, you can go through two halves literally in like five minutes each. It's like a 10 minute game. It's really not that bad. Now next thing you guys want to probably do, theme builders are it's selective because it's like an objective taste like not everyone's gonna i haven't even touched them yet because they are full game solos over the course of a season so the way this works is every like five levels go up to level 50 you get a theme builder token you go over to sets and you put them into the team you want the team you pick you get their playbooks their uniforms and their stadium and their theme builder so we know that every every team comes with their own theme builders so like i did patriots because i wanted their playbook and their stuff but i don't want julian edelman because it's cards horrible so the best ones to do are probably the lines for Darius slay the Browns for Miles Garrett and the 49ers for George Kittle. Those are like my three favorite. And even Andrew Norwell for the Jaguars. But these are 16 game solos, so it's up to you if you want to play them. They're 16 full games. A little too much for my taste personally for an 86 overall. You can just power pass them using training. But that's another 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 completely outside like information you don't really need to worry about for this video. Now Journey NFL Top 100, NFL 100 Part 1. This one I have not finished yet because I haven't really cared for the player because he won't start on my team. But the player is very, very good. It just happens to be that I already have D-Hop Nat, so I don't really need that kind of receiver. But this does give you a free. It gives you gold player packs, by the way, which I did get DeAndre Hopkins from. Just to let you know that you get packs from all these solo. The NFL Epics and the Journey Solos, you get free packs, which I did pull a Nat DeAndre Hopkins from. So remember that even though you even, even though you don't get the reward yet, you get a lot of good stuff along the way. Even 25,000 coins, grid iron packs, 25,000 coins, training. But at the end of this, you do get a free 88 Michael Thomas. So now you have Lattimore at corner, Gilmore at corner. You got Baker at quarterback. At right end, you got Luke Keekly, not Luke Keekly. Right end, you got Deacon Jones. And then you will have Michael Thomas on top of that Lawrence Taylor. So your team's looking pretty good. Now the level challenge, I wouldn't really touch unless you guys have a lot of solos to do. But you do get, I think after you complete a certain amount of solos, you do get coins. So that's very useful too. Now another thing you guys want to do, which I think is the first overall thing you guys want to do, but... I don't know what we say because people don't always like to do it. I level up level 50. That's the first thing you want to do in this game. You can't see the rewards, but I'm letting you know. By the time you reach level 50, in quick sells and uh, pack platinum players from the $1 packs, you probably made about like 300 to 500k. And then you get a legend, a full legend pack, which you can get like Lawrence Taylor or any other guy and get like 200k at least minimum. And then you get a lot of power passes. You get a lot of quick sells. You get a lot of gold packs. There's so much. You, you get about a million coins. If you grind this whole thing out, it's about a million coins. In my, in my personal opinion, you get over a million coins worth of value because the 87, 88 could be a Khalil Mack, Aaron Donald, Von Miller. There's just so much opportunity for a no money spent team now. Now, to go over to a few more guys that I would I would train up if you're a no money spent team, I recommend George Kittle. George Kittle, you can use your 82 overall power pass to get past his elite. And then all you got to do is power pass his theme builder. And George Kittle, let me show you your stats. It's not that his catching is amazing. He does catch very well. It just doesn't show on the card. But he does happen to have very good speed for a tight end. Also, Norwell's not a bad idea either. Although, there's better left guards now in the game. But Kittle's got really good set. He can run block really well and has good speed. So, for me, that's a good plus for a tight end. He's 6'4". But, guys, that's about it for the, as far as the training cards go. I did have a list from yesterday, which I will pull up right now in case I missed anyone. So, I can just go over them real quick. But, I believe I hit them all. Let's just, so we, got, we got Lawrence Taylor, Bruce Matthews. Bruce Matthews is an awesome guy to also power up because you don't have to get his full card. You can just power him up to like an 88 overall left guard and then have one of the best left guards in the game for just training, which isn't bad at all. And that's about it. Don't forget. And also, well, actually one last thing. It's not exactly no money spent because you're going to have to get a certain amount of trophies for it. But you can do it. You go over to competitive currency. You go over to the right. You'll see this Von Miller. I recommend going Nat Von Miller, 1,000 trophies. You can get this from playing solo battles offline. Go online, look up a solo battle guy, and just complete this. Probably take you a few weeks of solo battles. I'll probably get it by the by Tuesday because I will get my weekend league rewards. I get my seasons, and I get just from playing the game. So I'm pretty close already. I'm halfway there, and I believe from I'm in top 100 in weekend league, so I should be getting like 400 to 300 trophies. That should be very close. 
But guys, that's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you with your no money spent grind and what you should be at right now. Realistically, I'd imagine that a no money spent team should be at least like an 82 overall if you grinded out everything and you got enough coins now. As far as your coins, don't use them until after weekend league rewards drop and prices go down. Save them for now. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. Make sure to go down below, drop a sub. Let's get to about 5,600 today. That'd be pretty cool if we can get around there. And then let's drop 300 likes in this video. And comment down below if I missed anything or if you guys have higher overalls and no money spent. Let me know just so I can update this video in the future. That's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching.